Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about eight traits of resilient people, eight habits that you will find that resilient, gritty people have. Let me introduce myself. My name is Lynn Schrader and I empower men and women to step outside of their comfort zone and begin living a life that they could have never imagined. I love to ignite a fire and a passion in people who are ready for a change and ready for more. Um, so I do love working with people who are ready to step outside of their comfort zone. And the people that I work with in my business um, usually have uh, just a, a uh, something inside of them that tells them they're not going to give up. And if they don't have that in there, that's what I work with. Uh, them about so let's talk about this this resiliency that you find in people and and how does that happen um, I have the pleasure of working with four other women in my business where we um, we're resilient we are gritty women and uh, we have goals and we know what we want and we've done a lot of chit-chatting back and forth about this resiliency that you find in all of us and where does it come from? So because of those conversations, I decided that I'd go ahead and uh, do a video on that and give you a glimpse into some things that we, that I, discovered that resilient people have, uh, with those traits, um, and how to be mentally fit with grit because it is a, a uh, mindset thing. So what makes up a resilient person? Number one, number one, a resilient person, a person that's got grit, doesn't beat themselves up. Listen, I've been there, done that. I used to beat myself up about every little thing, but I don't do that anymore. Resilient people don't beat themselves up because they understand that that's a time waster. That there's no value, no value in beating yourself up. It's absolutely waste your seconds, minutes, days, uh, hours, weeks, you name it. It's a time waster. So the best thing that a resilient person knows to do is to keep their head down and moving forward. So a resilient person doesn't beat themselves up. Number two, number two, a resilient person has a wonderful support system and they're selective about it. Uh, a resilient person knows that they can drop their pride and ask for help. They don't know it all. They can ask for help. They don't have all the answers, but here's the deal. They're very selective on who they do ask for help because they know that success leaves clues. So they follow the clues of other successful people and that's who they choose as their support system. So myself, I know who I'm going to reach out to when I need help. It's going to be somebody that I have seen have success in what I'm trying to achieve. And here's the other thing before I move on to that one. Not only do successful people, resilient people ask for help, but they also give it. It's a two-way street. Number three, a resilient person, a gritty person is comfortable with the uncomfortable. They're comfortable with the uncomfortable. They know that whatever junk they're in now, this too shall pass. And what happens when you're uncomfortable? You come out stronger and you grow within that uh, uncomfortable spot you're in. So gritty people, resilient people are comfortable with the uncomfortable. You know, yes, it's not pleasant, but I'm gonna make it through it. And, that, and, it's, and I'm gonna be a better person for it. Number four, number four, a resilient person embraces, are you ready for it? They embrace imperfection. They know that perfection is not attainable and that's actually a time waster as well. But the surefire way that you can get stuck in whatever you're trying to accomplish the surefire way to get stuck is if you are insisting on perfection because it's not going to happen. You're going to stay stuck. 
Now that doesn't mean that a resilient person gives just this much effort. Absolutely not. They give it their all. They give their best, but they don't wait around until it's perfect. You're gonna be waiting for a long time. Uh, number five, number five, a resilient person has a positive sense of self and purpose. They, they recognize their gifts, they recognize their talents, they recognize their role in the world. They have a really positive sense of, of what, they're, what they're supposed to do. Um, they get their strength from within and not from without. And because of that, they are able to deflect criticism that comes their way because they're so sure of who they are. And it makes them go forward. It, it helps them not beat themselves up. This, this sense of self. They're able to embrace their imperfection because they have this sense of self and who they are. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing when you can get there. Uh, number six, a resilient person, a gritty person is going to search for the positive. It's not hard to search for the negative, is it? All you gotta do is open the newspaper or turn on the news or turn on your radio. There's all kinds of negativity, politics, murders, shootings, dissension. It's not hard to find the negative, but a resilient person will search for the positive because they know that it's there too. Um, they look for the lesson, the positive part, what's in whatever's happening to them. So they search for the positivity and they know that it's there. They don't get stuck in this, this feeling of negative, the, the sky is falling, woe is me, it's never gonna, and by the way, they don't use words like never and always, they search for the positive. Uh, number seven, a resilient person looks at the long-term view. They take a long-term view, they step back and they see the long-term. They are prepared for the long haul. Rome was not built in a day, and they know that their future, their future, is determined by their efforts today. So they do what they need to do today, but they also know that it's gonna take time. That's what a resilient person does. That's what I coach people on, and that's, that's what my friends and I, that's, that's what we are. We know the long haul. But we're in for the long haul. At number eight, last one, and I think this is a very, very important one, and I kind of left it for the end because you can't take care of others until you take care of yourself. I've done that on videos before. A resilient person takes care of themselves. They know that there are stressors in the world. Oh my gosh, there's so many stressors. Um, but they know that they have to be physically fit, they have to feel good physically, they have to get rest, they need to uh, eat well, they need to uh, watch what they put on the inside, right? They also know that they need a fit brain. They need to be feeding themselves positive things and they also need to continue to grow personally. So a resilient person knows that they haven't arrived there's still a lot more for them to learn. So they take care of themselves physically and mentally. They continue to feed into themselves so that they can feed, uh, feed others. So there's some great books that I have read that are about resiliency or resilient people or events that uh, happen that called on that person to be resilient. And the two that I wanted to mention are From Grit to Great. It's just a really simple read, From Grit to Great. I actually gave that book as a graduation gift, uh, gifts to, some, to my sons and some other graduates because I feel like if you're not gritty in this world, you're gonna have some trouble. So From Grit to Great, I'm sorry I don't know the author, I can't
Yep, I think it's Kaplan. And then this one is, uh, this one spans the generations. Uh, I actually gave this book to my husband and my kids as well, um, but it's Man's Search for Meaning. I'm sure you've heard about it, Viktor Frankl. Um, he was in a concentration camp. Uh, huge, wonderful, life-changing story about this resilient man and how he made it out of there, uh, out of the concentration camp. So if you've got, if you know someone that this video would minister to or help, please either tag them in the comment section or share this video. Um, I'm all about paying it forward. That's just something that I have uh, always embraced. Whatever you learn, pay it forward. That's what keeps the world uh, in a great, great place. So anyway, if you got some value out of it, I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this? Do you have some books that you've read that you'd like to suggest for the rest of us? Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you.